What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Savvy100. This is Savage Studios. I want to say welcome back to the channel. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers. Listen, man, slow and steady wins the race. I'm cool. I'm chilling. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to smash the thumbs up. We're talking about Jamie Osuna asking and requesting for the pictures of what he did to his cellmate and being denied. Why would he ask for those pictures? What was the purpose of trying to get those pictures? What could be accomplished by having those pictures? I've had a lot of people in my DMs tell me all kinds of different reasons of why they think it, he could have been doing it. Anything, anywhere from satanic rituals, wanting to be performed with the images, the pictures, to maybe just wanting to see his own handiwork. Whatever the case is, we're going to get into that today. We're going to talk about why inmates do request that because it's a whole lot more common than you guys think. So let's get right into that. But before I do say that, I do want to say smash this thumbs up, smash the like button. Don't forget, if you do like this video, just, you know, hit that thumbs up. And if you don't, hit that thumbs down. Either way, if you do hit the thumbs up or you do drop a comment, it all throws it in the algorithms. It all latches it on with the other Jamie Osuna videos that I've made before on my bigger channel, on this channel, that the, the, the other channels have made. There's even a podcast on Jamie Osuna. So let's get right into it without much further ado. In prison... Just like in the army and in, in the military, you get all these badges, right? You wear them proudly, you know, even in the COs, they wear their bars, the stripes, right? They get a couple, they get a few that lets you know what, how long they've been doing what they've been doing, you know, and that, that also comes with a certain amount of respect, right? Okay. With inmates, it's exactly the same way, except our achievements are just a tad, a tad bit darker, tad bit more evil, sinister, you know, volatile. So... First and foremost, I'm guilty of doing this myself. I remember really putting it down on, on one dude in the yard in uh, Kern Valley, really bad. They stretched him off the yard, put him on a gurney, taped his whole face up, made him look like a mummy. Now, I didn't kill the dude, didn't cut his head off. And, and as a matter of fact, after he came back from the hospital that night, he came back to the yard, signed off the mutual combat. Kern, Kern Valley was not tripping this year. If you were there in about 2012, 2011, 2013, maybe, that's when they weren't really picking up too many things. If the inmate wasn't going to, you know, take you to court, they weren't going to try you for no assault with GBI, SBI, serious bodily injury, which is what they were telling me I was facing when they cuffed me up and put me in the stand-up cages, waiting to see what was going to go on. This time, they weren't really tripping. There was a whole bunch of homicides, real brutal stabbings taking place. All I did was just staple a good portion of his, bust a good portion of his forehead open and, and, and gash off maybe a good... 75% of his top ear, they stapled it all. His face was stapled up, he was bandaged up and brought to the yard the next day. However, I did want to I did want those pictures. I requested those pictures and they would not give me those pictures. Now, the reason why they would not give me those pictures is because they know. They know that as inmates, right? We are our own campaign. So I can't go around, right? And this is no matter what anyone tells you, this is what every inmate wants to do. You want people to respect you, but you want people to have a healthy fear of you. You want them to assume that if they fuck with you, you're going to fuck with them 10 times harder and you're going to end up you're going to end up leaving them real fucked up. Now, what better way to support that campaign than to actually have images of it? So think about it. Any any celly I would get a new celly, I'd go to Corker's shoe, to Hatchipy shoe, Selena's, anywhere I was going and I would get a celly the first thing we do is exchange paperwork. We talk, we, we tell, you know, we tell our, our war stories throughout the first couple weeks. And it's like, oh, boom, you're never going to forget to hit them with the pictures and watch their reaction. Because a Sally who ain't never been through nothing, a Sally who don't got those same type of stripes as you, or a Sally who ain't never done that amount of damage that you've done, is going to look at those pictures and he's going to know what kind of individual you are. So those pictures are almost good for inducing a certain amount of uh, uh, respect into the next person. I'm not saying it works every time and I'm not saying it's going to work every time. But let me, let me say, if I talk to you on the yard, right? And I'm like, bro, I'm like, you want to sell up? And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Move you into the pad. Or let's say you're just a new celly. I don't even know you. You come into the pad, we talking and we telling war stories in the pen, on the streets and anywhere in life you go, you believe half of what you hear. Or no, you believe none of what you hear. <laughs> It's a little early. You believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. So what better way to get off to a healthy start with your cellmate who you're going to be living four feet away from for the next however long than to show him what you've done. Show him some of your masterpieces. Boom. And he sees it and he's like, damn, okay, cool. This You, you fucked that guy up, bro. 
if he doesn't have the same type of pictures to pr produce that you do, okay, well then, I guess we know, you know, what's going on in here. Doesn't mean I'm going to treat you like a bitch. Doesn't mean, you know, I'm going to try to punk you. Doesn't mean none of that. It just means, hey, bro, I wanted you to see this. I wanted you to see who you living with. I wanted you to see, you know, when you wake up on those days when you feel grumpy and you tired of being in prison, you don't try me, bro. You don't give me that attitude because in a cell, this could happen to you. So, so picture, so picture Jamie Osuna. I've thought about this. Why would he request the pictures? Why, why would he want that? Well, Jamie Osuna is a weirdo, man. He, he ain't, he ain't even thinking the way I'm thinking. He ain't thinking the way anyone's thinking to a certain extent. Of course, I know he wants those pictures so he can pass them out and make copies of them and have the guys, who, the inmates who work in the school go make copies of them and then he can pass them out. Anytime he gets to a new prisoner, like, hey, oh, shit, Jamie. Oh, yeah, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Well, uh, think about it. No one inside of prison has seen the pictures that we have seen out here. The picture, the picture that I have, no one in the pen has seen it. No one. Except for the ones that I sent it to, you know, via cell phone so they could see no one else though so think about it all these other inmates are going to want to see it they're going to hit him up and at the end of the day he's going to want to show them that's his trophy right you tell war stories even if it really happened or didn't happen you're still telling a war story what better feeling is there for an inmate i could tell you when you when you telling a war story then you could whip out the picture or the black and white or anything some proof it's like bro yeah i don't know I, you probably thought i was lying you believe None of what you hear and half of what you see. But you believe you believe I was lying, didn't you? But bam, here goes a photo. It goes black and white with my name on it. It's telling you what I did to this man. You know what I'm saying? I did it. I was guilty of wanting those photos. I, me and the Sally, he back there for stabbing somebody. You know what I'm saying? I've had Sally's come back there fresh to the hole with the new 114D. What are you back here for? Oh, I sliced this dude's throat. How bad you get him? I got him pretty good. My boy was bloody. Damn, man, I want to see that. I know, me too. Those pictures are probably badass. That's how we think. That's how that's how we thinking on a level four, man. That's how we thinking in the pen in general, I believe, man. We got big egos, you know. The the pen is full of ego, egotistical maniacs, you know what I'm saying? And those are our trophies, our achievements, right? You you military men got badges, you know what I'm saying? You guys get them, you know, boop, 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 boop. Cops get the bars, CEOs get the bars. Everyone gets form, uh, a form of seniority and recognition for for time put in, work put in. So inmates are the same way. We just get it a different way. Like I always tell everyone, you got to get it how you live. We get it how we live because we live that foul ass, insidious, fucking dark, volatile life. So if we live in that way, we're going to get it that way. We're going to get that respect. So I'm pretty sure for more than a number of reasons, Jamie Osuna wants those pictures, man. I'm sure everyone's hitting him up, asking him, hey, you got the pictures? You got those pictures? What would you do to him? And he's probably telling a bunch of people because he don't care. This is a man who's trying to plead guilty and get it over with. They are trying to do all this mental shit on his behalf. He don't even want that. But I'm sure he's telling people, yeah, bro, I cut his head off. I took his eyeballs out and his lung out. Damn, bro, you don't got no pictures? Nah, man, they won't let me get them. Of course, they're not going to let him get them at this point, which is why they don't let a lot. When things are just uh, really gruesome, you'll be surprised, man, like. I don't, I don't think they really do give out those pictures anymore, to be honest with you. I don't think they do. It's almost defecating on the dead. That's what they know that we're going to do. You know, I remember one one dude, had he had his pictures of someone he had done some stuff to, had the uh, the autopsy pictures and stuff like that. And it was like, you'd think they, that they wouldn't give it to him, but they do because they have to because of the evidence, the, the factor of having to actually, you know, maybe fight because there's a chance he could go pro bono and be his own lawyer. So he's going to need all the evidence, including the autopsy pictures. However, I think you have to go to court now to get all that kind of stuff. And maybe one day he will get it. And, you know, he could share those proudly and show those off to the whole world and say, hey, look, this is what I did this one time to this guy in a cell, blah, blah, blah. You know, and, and that'll proceed to scare everyone else off. You know, like I told you, we get those pictures. We request our we request our crime scene activity. We request, we request it for the simple fact that is the most subtle way to tell your next cellmate or your neighbors or whoever's around you, this is what I could do to you. Now, do you have proof of what you can do to me? I'm not saying that that makes, makes or breaks. I'm not saying that if there is no proof, it can happen to you. I'm just saying it's different though, because if you could have the capacity to do that, that's one thing. 
if you've already done something like that and you have it documented and there's pictures of it, well, geez, we know, yeah, we're all capable of killing somebody. Shit, the little Asian lady down the street is capable of pulling out her knife and cutting my throat. The difference is you've already done this. Okay. You've acted on it. Okay, so I got to watch your ass. And who knows who's willing to pay him for those damn pictures. Like, once again, who knows who's willing to pay for those pictures. So I just wanted to give you guys a general outline on why us inmates ask for the, the aftermath of the shit we do when we hurt people or when we victimize somebody or fuck somebody up or people kill people or whatever, stab people. That's probably the coolest thing in there to have is those pictures. Like for, for, for an inmate, it's like, yeah, let me get those pictures, bro. I got to get those. You put in the work. You painted the drawing. You painted the painting. And they, they steal the painting from you at the end and they don't let you see it. How would you feel? Taking the painting away from the artist who put in time, energy, courage, uh, adrenaline, and a whole bunch of heart that a lot of people don't have. And they take that painting from you. You painted that in blood. Just saying. I hope y'all like this video. Much love, much respect. Welcome back to Savage Studios. It's your boy, Savvy 100. Tap the fuck in.